Well, guys, I parked crooked as hell. Welcome to today's vlog. Hello, hello Razvan. Hello. I haven't filmed a thing. Uh, so I got up today. What did I do? You ate cereal. I, I ate cereal. And then uh, yeah, I had frosty flakes. And then Razvan came over. We had to make a run to Kent to get a couple of things. Uh, the looks I'm getting is, are just absolutely crazy. Oh, it's wonderful. Uh, I don't care. We're, we're at Mark's right now getting supplies for dinner. We're still at the grandparents' house, so we're going to go in and get some drinks. And That's we already ordered our pizza, and it'll be good news. So we were just saying in the car over here that this grocery store is kind of like the, what do we say, the foster child of grocery stores? we got to cut through here. Yeah. It's all of the stuff that Acme and, and Giant Eagle and Heinen's didn't sell. So they're like, hey, I don't know, let's give it to Mark's. And they take it, and then they sell it. So you never really know what you're going to find. Hey, that's what we had in San Diego. We got Hillshire Farm smoked ham, same thing. So I guess they have that. They got wieners and all kinds of, all kinds of stuff. That's right. We got a fire going, and this is Alex back behind the camera. Oh, is, are you filming? I am filming. Hey guys, we're watching We're the Millers. That's pretty pretty funny. It's really kinky, actually. <laughs> kind of vulgar, but yeah. vulgar kinky. Vulgar and kinky. What do you say, Colt? Hmm? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, we'll guess Ryan. Anything else to say? Can they even see me? Okay, so we had our dinner. That was really good. Had two pizzas, cheesy bread, stopped and got some drinks. Got some stuff done with the grandparents today. Came back here, hung out with Alex. I haven't seen him since Halloween. That was awesome. Good to see him again. Alex, Razvan, Colt, good times were had. We watched um, Were the Millers. I saw the previews for that when we watched The Conjuring twice in theaters. And uh, it was really good, actually. Very few movies. You get to the end and you're like, well, I'm glad I watched that. But that was one of them. So uh, that was fun. Even had a little fire in the fireplace. It snowed today. So, so wow, why is that? Why does the lens look really dirty or something on the left side? Hang on. Uh, I guess that's better. It's kind of blurring. It doesn't really look like that. Huh, maybe the Canon doesn't like Christmas lights that much. But I didn't make any further progress with that aside from cleaning this off, so the surface is ready to be Christmasificated. Uh, that's a bushism. Anyways, I'm gonna go up. It's three o'clock in the morning. I gotta get up at eight, so it's gonna be a rough night. But um, tomorrow's Saturday, going back to grandparents' house. I don't know what we're doing tomorrow, but it's the typical day over there. So we're gonna head in there and do that. And then tomorrow night should be fun. We're gonna try to get together with everybody again and hang out. So we'll talk tomorrow. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Jake, you were almost, you were almost pissed at me again. You were almost pissed at me again, but I remembered last minute. I almost forgot. So a, a 12 hour install job it took to do this and uh, it was worth it. It was worth it and the dollars. But we'll come inside the vehicle now. Um, and I will show you my UUC Evo 3 short shift kit. Oh, yeah, look at that, tight as a new car. That is an F10 M5, 35% shift reduction, first to second, boom, three, four, five, six, and reverse, directly overhead. That was a reverse to second, that's weird. Neutral is a little further up, that's fourth gear. That is where neutral used to be. In fact, before I started this car today, I got in, it was there and I'm like, wait a minute, that's not neutral. There we go, that's neutral. Now, look at that. That is the play in gear. That is as good as it physically gets. I replaced the carrier bushings. There's one back here and there's two up here. Both of those are new. That is as good as this shift setup allows that to be. A little bit more than a new 435, but that play in gear, that is tight as shit. So I don't know why there's still maybe an inch of that but everything in there is new and tight with a DSSR dual shear selecting rod. It is beautiful. The entire car feels tighter to drive. It feels newer. It feels more responsive. I love that. Good, solid upgrade. 
with the UUC Evo 3 short shift kit with DSSR and new bushings. A job well done. Big thanks to Colt for the help with that. We couldn't, we weren't, the instructions called to drop the center um, section of the exhaust from the exhaust headers back through the cats to the resonators. So, so we looked into that, it looked pretty simple actually. We got in there and put a socket on the bolt. I had a 12 point socket, turned the bolt, turned it into a half round bolt. So we went and found a, tw a six point, I think they're 13 millimeter or 12 millimeter socket and put that on there and did the same thing. Those bolts are now made of marshmallows. They are totally rusted and corroded. You know, you can't protect that where the headers come down into the center section of the exhaust. It gets hot as hell. You cannot cover that up, insulate it, protect it from the elements of an old car. So uh, I guess the engineers knew that and they left a section of the bolt about that long wide open. So guess what? If you get some bolt cutters in there, you cut that out, you pull them out, you replace the hardware. You need eight bolts and eight nuts. There's like probably $8 in parts there. So next time that exhaust really needs to come down and I have access to a pair of bolt cutters, we'll just do it the fun way. The clamps at the back where it goes into the resonators, I can get that apart. It was a little seized. We had to put some PB blaster on it, but we can do that. It also called to drop the drive shaft. There's six bolts on the, on the Jubo. So uh, we didn't even try those. So we were pretty much hugging the drive shaft, reaching all the way up into the transmission tunnel to put that in. Took 12 hours, but it's done. And as I said, it's worth it. So without further ado, we'll talk tomorrow, Saturday. Good night. Welcome to the weekend.